Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Lulu MD. So I'm super excited about this video because this is my first official video of clerkship. For those who aren't sure what clerkship is, it's the third and fourth year of the medical doctor program. Clerkship is where I'll be getting my core hands-on teaching in the hospital wards and the medical clinics across the city. I'm attending medical school in comparison with years one and two, which we call the pre-clerkship years and is mostly focused on didactic learning. So prior to clerkship, we actually start off with two weeks of learning and this is called Link Block. So I wanted to share with you what I did during Link Blocked, what I learned. So let's go and check it out. So the very first day of Link Block, it was actually pretty chill. We got to catch up with friends and then we had some lectures. And then we also got to pick up our pagers. So here we are walking towards the office to pick up our lovely pagers. As you can tell, we were all pretty excited to get our pagers. It's basically like getting a new iPhone. And it was pretty busy when we went during the break. And woohoo, I got my pager. <laughs> so naturally, when you get a new toy, you start testing it out. And that's what exactly happened in our class. Hey, let's go back. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, I'm just gonna check my own because I didn't. <laughs> I'm being me. So what do I do now? Push any button. Like, literally any button. And then it comes there. up with my phone number. So yep, everyone wanted to test out their pagers after they got them. So basically there were beeps all throughout classes, lectures, even in the lunchrooms. After a rather exciting morning of pager beeps and intros, it was an afternoon of lectures. So it was now time to check in for our category 1, meaning that we had to scan in at the QR code station and ensure that our attendance for these particular lectures was noted. Then day 2 and 3 of Link Block, we went to the University Terrace, which is another building located on the campus and here we focused on radiology sessions. I found the elevators and took the elevators up to the third floor where the radiology sessions would be held in the computer lab. Thankfully, they had signs everywhere so I wouldn't get lost. And then the rest of the morning was spent on imaging of the abdomen. Hello, so we just finished our radiology sessions. <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of abdomen CT scans and uh, learned a lot. I still can't read anything much, but you know, I, at least I know what appendicitis looks like. And we are now, <laughs> <laughs> and now we are heading for some lunch, so stay tuned. One of my favorite go-to lunch places is actually a local ramen shop and what I love about this place is the price of the ramen. Every day they have a lunch special from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. where their ramen soups are sold for 50% off. So that meant that each ramen bowl I paid for, it was only $5 plus tax and tips. Oh, do you prefer the ice water? Do you want ice or not ice? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I'll probably just drink the hot water anyway. Okay, <laughs> just in case you need it. After lunch, it was time for more radiology, so we headed back towards the University Terrace building. And then the afternoon session was all about neuroimaging and brain scans. So obviously in a span of two hours, we became absolute experts at reading these brain scans, and we are now ready to be radiologists. I'm just kidding, we still need lots of work and practice before we get even close to radiologists. The next day we finished off our chest and MSK radiology blocks but our radiology MSK session got cut short because the system glitched out as you can see I'm trying to click on something here but no images were showing up so yeah we got let out early so I just finished my last radiology session for the afternoon we actually got let out early because the system completely crashed so we couldn't load any images at all. It's still pretty smoky out here so I had to put my mask on. I think I'm going to head over to Ishmore and just do some food shopping. So stay tuned!
The next day I had a day off, so I went to volunteer at the Royal Conservatory of Music examination session. So here I am sitting at the reception desk and welcoming students and checking them in. The last day of our first week of Link Block was focused on simulation sessions. So I headed over to Eka where we were having our sim sessions. The morning focused on doing a series of small group skill sessions. We then put together those skills in a simulation scenario in the afternoon with another set of small group activities. So we first got an introduction presentation before our small skill sessions. Then we did some ECG interpretation worked together on our basic life support skills. Then it was time for a quick snack, followed by a skill session focused on intubation, and finished off the morning with an IV insertion station. And I think I did a pretty decent job with my IV. It was now lunchtime and also time to take a quick nap. That's not me taking a nap, by the way. And then we jumped right into the simulation scenarios in the afternoon. So that was the first week of Link Block and one more week to go. The second week of Link Block really focused on building our clinical procedural skills, as well as our ability to be aware of our surroundings. The first day of our second week of Link Blog had us learn how to put in Foley catheters as well as put on sterile gloves properly. And even though it was only the second week of clerkship, we had some opinions on how it was going. Tell me about clerkship. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I'm just very tired right now. <laughs> Already. I'm ready to go home. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm ready to go home. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, speaking of going home, now we're going to do exactly just that and get ready for another busy day of clinical procedural skill sessions tomorrow. So we started off by learning how to do bedside ultrasounds. Then this was probably the most dramatic part of link block where we inserted nasogastric tubes into each other. Now this was completely voluntary, but I wanted to go through the experience of seeing what it was like. So at this point, I already had the tube inserted in me and now it was my turn to practice on my friend. Shout out to my friend for being an absolute warrior. She barely made any sounds, whereas when I had my nasogastric tube inserted, I made so many weird sounds, I don't even want to talk about it. After the rather traumatic experience of having those nasogastric tubes inserted, it was now time for some peaceful suturing and working on my skills while thinking about why I wanted to have a nasogastric tube even inserted into me in the first place. Then we got to measure our own peak expiratory flow rate using a device called a peak flow meter. And I will probably need to see a doctor soon because the amount of air I was blowing out was nothing near the amount I should be blowing out for a person of my age and height. Oh my god, I did nothing! <laughs> oh my god, I like, was like literally nothing. We also got to learn more about different types of inhalers. Then it was on to the final session of the day injections. We learned about intramuscular, cutaneous, and intradermal injections. And similar to the nasogastric tube station, if you wanted to, you could voluntarily practice and be practiced on the different types of injections, as you see my friends are doing in the background. How do you feel about injections? Do you feel like an expert now? <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> We also had a special ceremony during this week of Link Block, which was called the Student Clinician Ceremony. It was held in the University Hospital at Bernard Snell Hall, and they even prepared us some cute call bags to give to us. For those who aren't sure what this ceremony entails, it marks our transition from our pre-clerkship years to our formal clerk years. And after some introductions and some keynote speakers, we donned our white coats and said our oaths. I will recognize the invaluable and unique educational opportunities of the 
being a student intern. As such, I pledge to take ownership for my clinical education. Whether medical or ethical, I swear that for every mistake made, I will provide an apology. For every question asked, I will seek an answer. For every constructive criticism offered, I will accept it freely and humbly, with the understanding of the given to further my education and improve patient care. I will acknowledge my limitations, and I will not be afraid to ask for help or say I So I didn't include the entire oath because it took a while to guess through. But after the ceremony was over, it was now time to receive our call bags as well as head out for some light refreshments. There were small desserts, veggie trays, more desserts, veggie tray again, cheese trays, crackers, and a good assortment of drinks as well. The next day we learned how to use neck care and I think some of us were a bit bleary eyed from having those late days and early starts. Ironically, while I was getting IT support for myself on how to use neck care, I had to provide my own IT support to a dear friend. While looking at the training patient profiles, this patient has an allergy to humans and if exposed will have a severe reaction. Sometimes I can relate to that. After the morning neck care sessions, the rest of the afternoon was lectures. For these lectures were not mandatory, which meant I was representing our front row of friends by myself. Where'd y'all go? Lonely, I missed a lonely. While my friends may have abandoned me, the library definitely has not, so I decided to head over and grab some books in preparation for my upcoming internal medicine rotation. It didn't take me too long to find the books I wanted to borrow, and for the most part I went with the pocket editions because I figured they'd be easier to carry around with me on the wards. Then I checked out my books, and then it was now time to head back for some light reading. At the end of Link Block, we had an open book exam, so after finishing that, we headed out to celebrate a friend's birthday for dinner and an escape room. For dinner, we decided to head downtown where we ate at a Japanese restaurant. They had some pretty delicious sushi, but unfortunately the food took a while to come out so we actually got comped with some dessert and we were pretty excited about that. We then went over to the escape room, but the mall it was inside was closed already so we had to ring security to let us in. After finally getting in, we did an escape room that was a player versus player so we split into two teams and it was Tron theme. Apparently we were all winners though, which I highly doubt, pretty sure our team won. And that's the recap of Link Block. To watch more videos like this on clerkship and medical school, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time!